Hello and welcome to our episode about soccer and ballet. In this episode we will be interviewing a soccer player and a ballet dancer. So here we have Johnny Webster, the best soccer player and the best looking one too. So Johnny Webster, can you tell us a little bit about soccer? Soccer has been around for many years. Long ago, soccer balls were not invented. So they had to use an inflated pig's bladder instead of a lovely looking, smelling soccer ball we use today. So what gear do you have to wear when you're playing soccer? You need a t-shirt, shorts, shin guards, socks and shoes. Don't you need undies? Yeah, you do need undies. Sorry. So, do you like soccer? <laughs> Now, we will have Alicia interviewing Jim Ben, or as most people call her, Jim Ben's smelly friend. So, Jim Ben, oh, before you say absolutely anything, I'm such a good fan of you. Look, oh, just I brought my own skirt, I couldn't find a tutu, and I brought my own skirt. <laughs> so, Jim Ben, can you tell us a bit about ballet? Every ballet dancer learns the basic positions like jumps and leaps. As they come, become more confident at ballet, they learn how to do the grand duty. What's the grand duty? That. Ah! I'm not going to do the grand duty again because I can't fail. <laughs> so what do you need to wear in ballet, Jen Ben? You need to wear a tutu, um, a leotard, and a foot on a desk. Oh! And definitely on I don't want people seeing the gorgeous bum. So, do you mean do you like ballet? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I've always dreamed of being in ballet. Sure. It's okay. Thank you, Jen Ben, smelly friend. <gasps> Oops, I mean Jen Ben. <gasps> well, there you go. We have interviewed Johnny Webster and Jen Ben, smelly friend. Oops, I mean Jen Ben. Thank you for watching. Proudly supported by Smuggles. I guess it is hard to choose. What do you guys think? Ballet. Soccer. Ballet. Soccer. Ballet. Soccer is way better than ballet. Ballet. Soccer. Ballet. Soccer. Full stop. A bomb. Ah! <laughs>